Hey, Henry, how are you? Sorry, I'm fine. Oh, good. How was your day? Kind of. Uh, that's nice. Um, I I live with with my pet to the park in the morning. To go for a walk. what? To go for a walk. Or to walk. Uh, to the park, mm -hmm. around the park, and I did like one hour. Oh, wow. Uh, like exercise, but not exercise. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like just to help your dog, right? It is to help my dog. I have yeah. two, two dogs. Two dogs. What kind of dogs? Uh, a Chihuahua dog, and uh, I don't know the the race, the, the race, the breed. The breed. Mm -hmm. I don't know what kind of of dog it is, but it's a small small dog. But it's like a Chihuahua. No. I have a dog that yes. is like a Chihuahua, but the other dog is only uh, a normal dog, a Wakate. Ah, okay. No problem. Okay. Hey, Mirna, how are you? Very well, teacher. Thank you. Good. Did you have a good day today? Hello? Did you have a good day today? Yes, I work today. Hmm. And everything was okay? Yes. Yes. Good, good. And you, Maria, how was your day? Because good. Thanks. Great. Okay. What did you do today, Maria? What? Excuse me? What did you do today? Oh, I went to, to work all day. Uh, to 8, 8 a.m. 8 and, and 12. And then I returned uh, 2 p.m. to 5, 5 p.m. And what do you do, Maria? Uh, I am an auditor. Ah, that's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Today is the day of the auditor's day. Today? Yes. Ah. But that's I know right. I don't have a Congratulations. I don't have celebration. <laughs> <Okay>. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, congratulations. Thanks. And and in the uh, at the company, no no celebration, no party, no no <laughs> no no free day. Yeah, People hate exactly. us. <laughs> no, it's not really. Uh, but you know the important is that they recognize your work and that it's okay, right? Yes. Mm hmm. Okay, good. All right. And who else? Elsie. Elsie, how was your day? Hello, good evening, everybody. Well, it's mm -hmm. uh, very tidy because I have a, 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 I have a meeting and uh, the emails, um, uh, when when I returned to my office, the I had uh, 100, 100 emails to review. So wow. it's very, very exhaustive. Yeah, a lot, a lot of emails today. Yes, sir. 
Is this normal, LC, to have so many emails? Um, if I don't, if I don't review early, yes. Oh. So you receive a lot of emails every day. Yeah, because all people uh, uh, we send copy for for all departments. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So maybe it's not for you directly, but you are copied. Yeah, but I have to read because if my boss call me, I, I, I need to know about the the topic that that he wants to to talk to me. Okay. Okay. And I understand. Okay. Yes. A lot of the day is only in reading emails. Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. No problem. It's part of it, right? It's sometimes you have to do more work, sometimes less. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And now it's most difficult because uh, the the company will close in a few months. So I have to review a lot of legal information. And and then the company, what happened? Uh, well, my boss, um, changed the resident now he lives in united states and uh, he said the pandemic uh, was really really bad for us so he preferred to uh, close the company mm. that's very bad right yes yes because we we are too 215 people okay. working in that company. Wow. Yes. Then it's very bad, the situation. Yes, yes, very bad situation. So I, I think we are working until December. Okay. So I'm looking for a new job, <laughs> but I need to improve my English. Yes. Yes, I understand because, um, okay. I, yeah, it's unfortunate that that's, I mean, imagine how much, how many people work at the company in the situation. Yes, yes. And, and, and some women are, uh, all because they, they they want only two or three years for to how do you say jubilarse retire retire yeah two or three years for retire so uh, almost for me it's difficult to to find a better job because in I saw some um um, how do you say oferta de trabajo? Job offers. Job offers. Yeah, and and the company uh, said uh, the age mm -hmm. twenty five to thirty five. Okay, <laughs> it's very difficult. This is the hardest part because always in El Salvador they are very mm, discriminatory, even for young people. The young people, yeah. people. If you are young, they want you with five years experience. If you are old, they yeah. want you more than 30. Okay. Yes. Yes, very difficult. Very difficult. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope you find a job. How many years before you retire? Oh my gosh. I think 12 or 13. <laughs> 12 or 13, a lot of time still. You are young. Yeah. Not much, but <laughs> I'm yeah, still 12, very if, young, okay? <laughs> 12 years? If you have 12 years or 13 years, it's a, you are still very young. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I will see. Well, if somebody in the group knows of a job, then you tell <laughs> Elsie. Yeah. Elsie, what do you do? What is your profession? I'm business administrator 
am okay. in the company. I'm working in a logistic department. I, I'm in charge in international buying and warehousing and import and export process. And also I do the custom uh, in United States. And I am in charge about the broker and custom topic also in United States. Um, okay. Yeah. Too bad, too bad that the pandemic for the guy. And that's that's the problem when you are when you are a worker. Uh, in the in one moment the boss has problems or situation the first effect is okay close the business close the worker because he the, the boss doesn't lose money it's okay here i stop i don't want to lose more money and finish the business and have yes and for him the difference usually for the the owners the difference is ah i retire early yeah, no, in, in, in this case, uh, he has uh, two other companies and they have a uh, very good revenue. Imagine, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but 200 people lose the job. Yes. yes, but it's okay, it's okay, don't worry. Tomorrow, <laughs> you'll have your Bitcoin, you have your $30 bonus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on September, seven, right. <laughs> Yes, tomorrow. There, super yeah. dollars, no problem. <laughs> I will have <laughs> Exactly, exactly. Yeah, and in the LinkedIn platform, um, some people are communicating with me, offering Bitcoin. In what platform? Mm -hmm. LinkedIn. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. But uh, the, the, these people are from a uh, United States, New Zealand, and, and they, Colombia, and they, Venezuela. Okay. I I think because I am Salvadorian, <laughs> they think I have I have to invest, you know, or for the law, new law. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's for the Bitcoin. It's very popular yeah. in other countries. Yes. Very. Mm -hmm. I continue my dollars, no problem. <laughs> okay. Good. All right, guys. Well, I'm glad to have everybody here. If you remember yesterday, we finished our talking our topic about wedding days and how the weddings are different in Japan. Do you remember? Yes. 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 And tell me, what do you remember? How are the weddings different in Japan? Mm, we did not have three, four years, four days mm, already out. And uh, I, I don't know if you say esposos. Esposos? Oh, yes. Es couple, what? maybe. The couple. The husband. couple. Okay, the couple uh, give this. Uh, presents to the guest. Give sugar in a in a ceramic uh, bowls mm -hmm. because sugar represents happiness in in Japan. Maybe mm -hmm. because the sugar is, is sweet. A custom interesting. The guests put, uh, give the money uh, and the. Yeah. Yes, it's very good. <laughs> yeah, we're going to attend it. <laughs> on the, on the, uh, um, to the bride. The guests sing a, a song in the, the body. Okay, okay. So a very different customs, right? It's Salvador and the others. And we learn how to use them and describe them. And also we had the idea for how we can, what grammar we can discuss, okay? So the important part is that when we discuss the patterns or discuss the things, we can explain, we can give adjectives and descriptions, what happens, okay? Now, I want you, we're going to make our groups and with your partners, not weddings, but other things. For example, what could you explain to a foreigner? 
What other things are in El Salvador that maybe is not common for other countries? What other days or traditions do we have in El Salvador? Okay. So think about it. In El Salvador, we have a lot of special traditions. We have things that, for me, amazing and don't exist in other countries. Okay. As an example, so to help you get ideas with your partner, as an example, in Japa, in the Japa, have fireballs. Only in El Salvador. Okay. In, and then in, in Suchitoto, San Sebastián, you, you can think of with your partner other activities. Okay. What, okay. what do you do there? What are the traditions? Okay, what happens? So go with your partners and think of some ideas.
All right, guys, what do we have? What are some of the things that we found? Okay. In my group found, sorry, Mary. <laughs> you first. Oh, I, 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 I didn't hear the, the, the teacher. Go ahead, Maria, go ahead. You can go ahead. Okay, but uh, I only want to ask you because I forget how do you say uh, escucha, barrilete. Excellent word. I put in the chat. Ah, okay. I, I, I have the idea, but I don't, I don't remember. The pronunciation kite. is kite. 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 Okay. Oh, kite. Thanks. And I forget that uh, too. I forget too. How do you say fiestas patronales? Ah, uh, religious festivals. What? Religious. Religious festival. Yes, or religious celebrations. Okay, religious oh, celebration. Okay, religious. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay, Javier, go ahead, tell us. What did you and your partner discover? Uh, Mirna and me discovered the traditional festival in Salvador is the Bajada, the oh. Alca Six. <laughs> the Bajada is the uh, celebrate the transfiguration of uh, our Lord. And um, in Salvador, Salvador. Yes, El Salvador del Mundo. Okay. Uh, Oh, it's the front of cathedral and another places in the city. Um, uh, are the the fair, the popular fair in the Don Rua place or the Playland Park. And Mirna and me could agree uh, uh, the better is the crazy corn. <laughs> in the festival. <laughs> okay, okay. Very good traditions, right? Very typical. I think most people, they went to Playland Park when they were young. They remember uh, Don Rua or the, this festival, something like that. Okay. And the Tagada, and the Tagada teacher. Okay. And the tagada. <laughs> excellent, excellent, good. Anybody else? Any other ones? The Pupusas Day. Is the day when the when a lot of places do uh, their best pupusa, and the big, uh, I think. You are right. We have a pupusa day in El Salvador, right? And many places, and, and they do all of these activities. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Good. Anything else? I was saying, Elsie, that in, in Santa Ana, in Texas, Tepeque, they had the Talsi Guinness Day or the Talsi Guinness tradition. Uh, it's on Easter, or I don't know if it's right to say Holy Week, on Monday. In Holy Monday, they, the Talsi Guinness that are some, some people with uh, red suits go with their grip, their whips and hit you like like um they are whipping whipping people to clean all the scene. It's a, a religious tradition, I mean. What, and what is the name? Yeah. Talsiguines. Tal Talsiguines. Yeah, it's very famous. People all over the country travel yeah. to to Texas Rebecca. I have seen it in the in the newspaper, but no, never. Only I, I, I look and I always think, oh my God, the people. Could, but okay. <laughs> okay. Yes, because I think, wow, it's because it look it looks violent. I don't know, but it looks really like really the person. They are. It's not like a, It's not an act. It's it's real. It looks real. 
<laughs> yeah, but but it's very funny because um some people like um bother them to mm -hmm. they hate them, but for fun that they hit you really hard they they have no shame <laughs> because they are cleaning your scenes and all that. <laughs> yeah, that is the idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have a question. I have a question. Yes, yes. Gabby, the Tassiwini uh, represents the demons? Um, no, even um, the church, the, I don't know how to say parroquia, organized and, and they, um, they have like a preparation. And it's not just the Tassiwini that, that come, come over the streets, they uh, there are a uh, procession too, <laughs> and, procession. and Jesus, uh, yeah, processions with with Jesus with a uh, with a uh, it's like Nazareno, I think, and they make some some uh, I forgot the the word to say alfombra, but runs. just a little runs. Uh huh. So and maybe yeah, it's like they were something like them, but. But not so so bad. Maybe some uh, angels, I think. I don't know. Okay. But they but they even had had their face covered with the with the sweet. It's a red sweet, complete red, red from suit. head to toe. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes, I have seen it. Very very different. Very very unusual. Search it, it's very funny. You can watch videos on YouTube. It's very funny because people is like teasing them from from day to, to hit them. Yeah, and when they hit them, then they are crying. Ah! <laughs> yeah, even even when when I mean when girls go with with mini mini skirts or on appropriate clothes, they hit them too. Because uh, they are like making bad samples or something. <laughs> Even to girls, there it's it's um there's no uh, they don't forgive anything anyone. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen it. Okay, all right, great, great ideas. We have some good ideas. Anybody else? Did you think about some other uh, traditions or things that we are different in El Salvador? Uh, in my dream, people celebrate the cross day, the cross day, and some some people uh, make a cross between their their eyes in mm -hmm. the face, and yes. and uh, other people plant plant a cross uh, in front of their their houses. Hiote uh, crosses in Hiote uh, crosses. You are correct. This is another one, right? The, the crosses, very, very traditional for El Salvador. And they put fruits or, or other things like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So we see we can have a lot of different things, right? Um, in El Salvador, we are just like other countries. We have our own traditions and our own habits and different things that we have, okay? Sign, similar to Japan, they have things that for them are very special and we have things that for us are a little bit special, okay? So we're gonna be taking a look at today. We're gonna continue and see a couple other things that are useful, right? But here we're gonna be looking at pronunciation. So let's watch a little bit of the video and listen to how we can pronunciate certain words, okay? So for this is the next part, uh, stress and rhythm. 3.8 was the idea for the wedding. 3.9 is only the explanation of the objective. And right now we are in 3.10, stress and rhythm. 3.10. Pronunciation, stress and rhythm. Part A. Listen and practice. 
Notice how stressed words and syllables occur with a regular rhythm. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. Hello everyone. Now that you have listened to the previous sentences, try to give the right stress and rhythm to the following ones. Then play the audio program to check on your pronunciation. Listen to the stress and rhythm in these sentences. Then practice them. After the ceremony, there's a reception with family and friends. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests usually give money to the bride and groom. Okay. That part is just for us to make sure that we worry about the stress and rhythm is, is the idea is that how we pronunciate the words, right? That is not only one part, but we need to make sure that we speak clearly about the things when we are, when we are making the sentences. Okay. Now here we're going to be looking about the grammar. The grammar today is called adverbial clauses of time, okay? And really, it sounds complicated, but when we begin to use it, we're going to see that it's pretty easy on how to use. Hi, I have a question for you. What is an adverbial clause of time? I'll give you a hint. An adverbial clause of time can't occur alone as it needs a main idea. Is stay around and listen to the explanation and follow the examples for better understanding. Adverbial clauses of time. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. After the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. We're going to break this for you so you may understand it better. There are many types of adverbial clauses, but in this session we want you to learn about adverbial clause of time. Let's define what an adverbial clause is. An adverbial clause of time describes or defines the when something happens. Adverbial clauses of time are easy to identify because they begin with a subordinating conjunction. For example, when, after, before, since, until, while, whenever. We invite you to ask your teacher to give you a list of subordinating conjunctions as a reference. You may be wondering what does a subordinating conjunction do? A subordinating conjunction joins two sentences, one sentence being called dependent or subordinated and another sentence being independent or main clause. As said in the intro video, an adverbial clause of time can't occur on its own because it makes no sense. It is not complete. We will take a look at some examples. Once you see them, you will know what we're talking about here. When she comes home, she will read a bedtime story. Let's analyze this sentence. When is a subordinating conjunction or adverb. She is the subject. Comes the verb. Now, when she comes home, altogether is a subordinating or dependent clause, meaning it is not complete. It depends on some other idea. You expect more information. She will read a bedtime story is a main clause or independent clause, meaning it makes perfect sense alone. What we're doing now is making a more complex sentence. Let's work with another example. Before she went to school, she finished all her homework. I will give you a couple of minutes to break down this sentence. Try to do as we did on our previous example. Okay. Let's look at that before she comes back. Before she went to school, she finished all her homework. Which part is the complete sentence? She finished all her homework. Okay, she finished all her homework. Very good. And which part is the extra part? Before she went to school. Because she went to school, exactly. Because when we say before she went to school is not a complete idea, but is going to give more complement or more information about the situation. For that we have, she finished all her homework. Okay, so that's how they work together. They work together to give more details or to expand more information. Does that make sense? 
Yes, teacher. Okay, let's see what her explanation is. So let's do it together. Before, subordinating conjunction or adverb. She, the subject. Went, the verb. Before she went to school is a subordinated or dependent clause. And she finished all her homework is a main or independent clause. Excellent, well done. Before we go, it is important for you to know that an adverbial clause of time can appear either at the beginning of the entire sentence or in the middle of it. It is okay to say, since they got married, they have traveled around the world, or they have traveled around the world since they got married. The only difference is the use of a comma if the subordinating conjunction begins the sentence. Can you give us now two examples? Do so in our discussion box. Okay, so we have all of these. The important is, what words can we use? When here are some of the words that we use, okay? Do you understand all of those words? Yes, teacher. Yes? No, when do you use whenever? What is the meaning? Ah, okay, excellent. Thank you for the question. Whenever means at any time. At any time that that happens, that's when you do it. That is called whenever. So, for example, whenever my mother calls me, I answer. This means any time that my mother calls, I answer. Whenever. And, and until? When I use until. Until, until is the limit. So we study English until nine o'clock. Until is the limit. Like at? No, at a specific time. For example, the class begins at eight o'clock we continue or you you go to the office until five o'clock okay. or until you finish your job it's okay until yes. it's okay okay all right now what are we going to we have all of these words when, after, before, since, until, why, and whenever. Let me take a picture and put into the WhatsApp, just in case. But with our partners, we want to use all of those in a sentence, okay? We want to use them in sentences. Rafa? Hello, teacher. I, are you in the car? No. Could you, could you repeat, please? Yes, I ask, are you in a car? Uh, no. No, okay, okay. I'm arriving to Metro Santa Santana, where I can't participate. Ah, oh, okay. No problem, okay. teacher. Isn't, okay, okay. All the right. Tra the, the traffic in Opico was horrible. <laughs> I imagine. I imagine. In San Juan Pico is always the traffic. There is a lot of um, a lot of companies. A lot, a lot of but uh, Fobial, Fobial is working. Uh, Fobial is working right now. Ah, uh, also and this is right. this is the reason for the traffic. Yeah. Yes. They're true. building. They built uh, the new the new bypass. highway. Yes. <laughs> yes. Right. That the would bypass. Be uh, Claudia well, Lars. Have to go to Lourdes, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, guys. So we're going to use those words that we saw, and we're going to practice making sentences. I'll give you one more example to make sure that it. Okay. So you use when time, right? After is the order. 
is the activity. Before is the first activity, okay? Since when you start, this is when you begin the activity, okay? Until is the limit. This is the last, for example, uh, I work until eight o'clock. This is the limit. While is at the same time. And whenever we use for any time, any time that happens. Okay. So as an example, if I say, when I study, it's not a complete idea. When I study, it's, it's not logical, right? When I study, I listen to music to help me, uh, to help myself. So, ah, uh, that is a complete idea, right? That's the idea that we want to try with our partners. So with your partners, let's make all of those words into sentences.
Okay, how do you feel? A little bit better? Yes. Yes? yes. Okay, let's try together. Let's make sure that we understand together. If you want to do, if you're on the computer or if you have access, it's great. You can do okay. us. We are in 3.13. 3.13, okay? The next activity. Let's see here. Before a man and a woman get married, they usually, what do they do before they get married? Pay for the wedding and, and reception. Reception. Okay. Need to plan the wedding. Which one? Before a man and a woman get married, they usually they each mm -hmm. other for about a year. Begin to plan Begin the to wedding. Plan the wedding. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of options. You have to be careful, right? Mm -hmm. No. Which one? Which one? The first one is okay or no? Begin to plan the wedding? Okay. No. Uh, they age other for about a year. I think they uh, uh, the man gives the woman a diamond ring. Huh? Mm, a lot of things. No. I think we should see the, the other one. sentences. Okay, so let's look can. at the next one. Okay. Yeah. When a couple gets engaged, the man gives, gives, gives the, the woman, woman a diamond ring. Okay. The first one is wrong. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Number three, right after a couple gets engaged, look right after. Right after. To plan the wedding. Ah, they begin uh, to plan the wedding. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Four, when a woman gets married, her family. Pay the, pays for the wedding, the wedding and reception. And reception. Okay. <laughs> I don't pays know why the, the one family pays the, the wedding <laughs> and reception. I don't Good know. If that's true. I don't a, know if that's true. It's in a tradition. It's a tradition. Half, yes. half it's, to half. <laughs> is that normal in El Salvador? No, no. It's, just, it's not. No, it's very... no it isn't. Well, in my, in my time, yes. In your time, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Maybe now a little different, right? Maybe now that mm -hmm. together, the two families. Yes. Mm -hmm. What about number five? When people are invited to a wedding, they almost always... Give the bride and groom a gift or some money. Or give us some money. Okay. Okay. What about number six? Right after the couple gets married, they usually uh, go on a short trip. Go on a short trip. On a short trip. On a short trip. Okay. And what about number one? What is our decision for number one? Is the same? Date each other for about a year. Date each other for about a year. Yes. Okay. Yep. Let's find out. How did we do? Ooh. There you yeah. go. Exactly. <laughs> so if you are in your home on the platform, now you know the correct answers to put now and have correct activity. Okay. Okay. All right. Any questions? No, teacher. No? Nope. Okay. All right. We are doing excellent work, guys. Okay. Now, teacher. Yes. Is uh, you made an example for the word whenever? Yes, uh, uh, no problem. Okay. So whenever, whenever we have a new topic we practice it in groups. So it's not correct only, we practice it in groups. Ah, uh, I need more information. Ah, uh, whenever, this means anytime, anytime we have a new, a new topic, then we practice it in groups. 
That is the idea whenever. Okay, or another example. What do you do when you go to the beach? What is something that you do always when you go to the beach? What is the idea? Before or during the trip? In the trip, in the trip. Mm -hmm. Swimming to the supermarket. Swimming the sea. Okay. So in the chat, you can see the sentence I swim in the sea is a complete sentence, but it doesn't give us a lot of detail. It doesn't give us a lot of information. Whenever I go to the beach is more information, but we need a complement. We need the sentence. Ah, together, whenever I go to the beach, I swim in the sea. Ah, I understand that. Anytime you are at the beach, you go into the sea. Is that better? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Good. Okay. And now we have our topic for listening. Or, sorry, not for listening, for reading. Hey, my apologies. This one is for reading. We are talking about unique customs. Okay. Mm, maybe it's a little difficult to see. Let's try a little bit bigger. Okay. Can you see this or no? Yes. Yes? Okay, these are unique customs. We see the pictures. We have three different customs, three different things. Okay. Who would like to read the first part? The first part. Um, I did. Me? Me. Okay. So I think I heard Mirna number one, right? Okay. Who's number two? Who's going to read number two? Anna, me. Anna, number two. Okay. Number three? Elsie. Elsie, okay, good. Number four? Javier. Javier, excellent. And number five? Me, Henry. Henry. Okay, Henry, number five. Thank you. Okay, let's read together. Go ahead. January 17 is San Antonio's Day in Mexico. It's a day when people ask for protection for their animals by bringing them to shores. But before the animals go into the shores, the people usually dress them up in flowers and ribbons. Imagine the people go to the church with the animals and the animals, they ask for the protection. To bless them? To bless them, yes. To bless them. Mm -hmm. Okay, number two. On August 15 of the lunar calendar, Koreans celebrate Chosok, also known as Korean Thanksgiving. It's a day when people give thanks for the harvest. Koreans' family honor their ancestors by giving their graves by, to take them. Repeat, by, by giving, no, by? By going, sorry, I don't have uh -huh. my guess. By going to their graves to take them rice and fruit and clean their grave sites. Okay. Good. Long ago in India, a princess who needed help sent her milk silk bracelet to one emperor. Although he, he did not arrive in time to help her, he kept the bra bracelet as a sign of the bond between, between them. Today in India, during the festival of Raki, men promise to be loyal to their women. In exchange, the women give them a bra bracelet of silk, cotton, or gold thread. Okay, good, good. One of the biggest celebrations in Argentina is New Jersey. On the evening of December 31st, families get together and have a big meal. 
At midnight, fireworks explode everywhere and continue throughout the night. This is a day when friends and families meet for parties, which last until the next morning. Okay. okay. Go on. On, the, mm -hmm. on the evening of February 3, people in Japan celebrate the end of the winter and the beginning of the spring. This is now a set to boom. Family members draw dry beans around their houses, shouting around the there, around their, around their houses. Now, how home, yeah. homes? Home. Yes, shouting good look in evil spirits out. After they draw the the beans, they pick pick them up. And eat one beans for each year of their eye age, age for, for their, their age of their age. Yes. Age. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we can. There are many different traditions for different things, not only for New Year's or for celebrations. We have many different activities similar to El Salvador. Are there any words you didn't know or any words that are not clear? Grave grave sites. Grave site. Grave site is when people are that are dead, they go. So when the uh, person is dead, they go to the grave, the cemetery. The idea that is the pronunciation, grave sites. Correct. That is the pronunciation so, grave site. Um, what what is the graveyard? Because the it's like it's, it's like cemetery. It is like a cemetery, correct. And grave site. It's like the the box or mean, only, mean the only the space. Only, only the space, space huh? for one person. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and harvest. Harvest is when you collect the food, when you collect the beans or collect uh -huh. corn or the mangoes. This is the harvest. Mm, uh, cosecha. Cosecha? Correct. This is the time to collect. Okay, guys, we are going to pause. It's amazing. It's, it's, it's already nine o'clock. So, wow. Uh, we are going to continue tomorrow. We're going to read tomorrow, practice, and then have more opportunity to speak. Okay? Okay, okay teacher. All right, guys. Okay. Have a good night. Nice. I see you tomorrow. Nice. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye.